Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In this week's Parsha, Akev, Moshe tells the Jews about the land of Israel, which he describes as a land flowing with milk and honey. Let's do an experiment that looks like milk and honey. Here are the supplies we will need. Vegetable oil, vinegar, baking soda, a 12 ounce plastic cup, a small plastic cup or container, and a plastic spoon. Let's get right into it. Measure about two tablespoons of baking soda into the large cup. If need be, bang the cup a few times to level the baking soda into an even layer. Let's look at how milk and honey are made because there's a secret message for us hidden inside. To make honey, bees collect nectar from flowers then break it down into honey in their honeycombs. While honey itself is kosher, the bee that makes it is not. Next, fill the cup with oil until it's nearly full. As for milk, it is milk from the udders of a cow while a Jew watches making sure the milk is chalav Yisrael, followed by pasteurization, a process of heating it to kill bacteria. Interestingly, beef also comes from a cow. Once it is correctly slaughtered and salted, it is kosher to eat. Measure about two tablespoons of vinegar into the smaller container or cup. Then carefully and slowly pour the vinegar into the large cup. Watch the vinegar and baking soda react, creating interesting bubbles within the oil. There you have it, drops of milk floating through honey. Back to the milk. As you may know, eating milk and meat together is not allowed, even though they often come from the same animal. It's an interesting paradox. Both milk and honey are closely related to non-kosher elements, but at the same time are completely kosher. So here's the secret message for us. In our lives too, there are many times where we may be near a non-kosher or negative situation, or even find a little negativity within ourselves. But rather than give in to that negativity, we can choose to be like the milk and honey. We can extract the positivity, that which is kosher, and leave behind whatever is not. Thanks for joining us at our Parsha studio. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.